Hi guys, it's Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science. And today I'm here to present to you the CC Cycle 1, Week 1, Hands-On Science Project. And this comes from um, your Van Cleves Science Book, Experiment Number 45, for about the baby bean. Now, the up front for this uh, experiment, you will need to do something ahead of time. So we're going to be looking at pinto beans, some that are dry and some that have been soaked overnight. So I just took a little mason jar and put some pinto beans in here and filled it, at least cover them with water and then seal it. And I put it in the refrigerator overnight. And so you'll have to do that and maybe allow at least two pinto beans for each student because we're going to be opening them up to see uh, what's inside and so sometimes if just in case their first bean you know it breaks or they can't see the plate the plant inside um, go ahead and make sure you have at least a couple soaked beans for each student so for this experiment you'll need the soaked beans and probably just one dry pinto bean for each student uh, I would recommend a magnifying glass so they can look at the parts of the bean you can use a, a toothpick. You can use that at your own discretion if you want them to use that as a pointer um, for their beans. Um, I grabbed a spoon just to help me get the beans out of the jar. And then um, if you want to, if you have extra time at the end, we, we're gonna draw the, the part, the, the bean that we, in the plant, parts of the plant that we see on the inside. So you might have some just blank pieces of paper and pencils or crayons or whatever you would like so we'll go ahead and get started so for this experiment it's it's cycle one we're, we're learning about biology and so the definition of biology is the study of of life and living things and so why do we want to study about life and living things and so I wanted to read to you from Romans 120 it says, there are things about God that people cannot see, his eternal power and all the things that make him God. But since the beginning of the world, those things have been easy to understand. They are made clear by what God has made. So people have no excuse for the bad things they do. And so studying creation, what God made, helps us understand God better. That's kind of what, what it's saying in that verse is, you know, if we can have a better understanding of God, by studying um, his creation. So that's what we're gonna do today with the beans. So before we get started, we're also gonna go over the scientific method, which is question, research, hypothesis, experiment, analysis, and conclusion. And at our campus, we have a fun song that we sing with it. We go, the scientific method is question, research, hypothesis, experiment, analysis, conclusion. And if you have older students, you can talk about what each of those parts mean. Um, so for the experiment today, we're going to be looking about uh, looking at uh, the parts of a baby bean. So first, hand out to each of your students a, a dry pinto bean. And we're going to talk about the parts that we see. So they can use their, their magnifying glass. And so the, the outer part of the bean, we're going to uh, do some vocabulary words, is the seed coat. So we can ask them, um, you know, what do you think the seed coat does? And it protects the seed and the growing plant. And so another part that you will see on the, I don't know if you can see that white part, that is called the hilum. And that's the part that connects to the, the seed pod. These beans grow in a seed pod, so that's where it connects. And then right above that white oval, is a little dot. I'll hold it close. There's a little dark dot right above that and that's called the micropile and that's a little hole where the pollen goes into the bean. So when it gets pollinated and a little piece of pollen goes inside there and then it can grow into a baby plant. And so you can ask them, uh, the students, have you ever planted seeds in a garden or what do seeds need to grow? And just ask them questions like that. And then, so after you look at the dry seed, we're going to look at one of the soaked beans. So I'm going to open that up here. Grab my spoon. Okay. 
I recommend having some paper towels on hand too so you can kind of dry off the water off the beans. Okay, so here's my soaked bean and here is my dry bean. So right away you can ask them some questions like what differences do you see? And so the soaked bean is a lot bigger than the dry bean. So you can ask, you know, why, question why, why did that happen? And so the, the water was absorbed into the bean overnight and made it bigger. So what we're going to do next is we're going to carefully take off the seed coat, that brown speckly part. So you can just use your fingers and just peel off the seed coat. It may not come off in one piece. Just peel it off. There we go. And you can have them examine the seed coat. Maybe use their magnifying glass and see what it looks like when it comes off. And maybe test and see, you know, kind of pull it. It's actually pretty strong. So it makes a good protective covering for the seed, for the bean growing. Okay, now we're going to look at the inside of the bean. And so we're going to, on this curved side on the back of the bean. That's where you're going to open it up so you can just put your fingernail. Mine open pretty easy so um, it should open pretty easy. Just be gentle and pull um, the pieces apart. And we're going to talk about what we see on the inside of the bean. And to help you with this, the, the Van Cleef's book has a pretty good diagram of you know what the parts inside the seed are. I found this one online. Just I did like a Google search that the parts of a pinto bean. And so I might use that for reference. But one side, one side is just pretty smooth on the inside, but the other side has some baby plant parts, and we'll talk about that. So the first part, the part that's you know that fills most of the inside of the bean. That is called, and I had to look up how to pronounce all these things. So the inside is called the cotyledon. The cotyledon, that's what fills most of the inside of the bean. And that is the plant, the food for the baby plant. And that's what the, the baby plant will use as its food to grow and start making those leaves and stems and roots. So the cotyledon, that's the food for the baby plant. Now next... I got a piece of black construction paper to so you can see, but you can kind of see there's like a, a little part that's sticking out there. And that is going to grow into the leaves. That's the first leaves of the baby plant. And those are called the epicotyl. Okay, the, the part that sticks out that's going to be the baby leaves, that's the epicotyl. So right Next to that, that's going to be where the stem, the first stem is going to be of the plant. And that is called the hypocotyl. I had to look these up. Hypocotyl. That's the first uh, stem that's going to form for the plant. And then farther back from the stem part is the radical. And that's are going to be the roots of the baby plant. And so with your magnifying glass, you can see these all a little bit better. Maybe you can see this you see there and you can point it out on on a diagram too so you've got your your epicotyl your hypocotyl which is going to be your stem and your radical which is going to be your roots so they can look at that and observe and then um, if you have time left over I thought you could have them if you want to draw a picture of what they see so I drew a picture just with a pencil of what the inside of my bean seed looked like. And I drew the epicotyl, the hypocotyl, and the radical. If you have older students, maybe you can have them label it. But that is um, the experiment for cycle one, week one, baby bean. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this and exploring God's creation. So 